Hello everyone, friends. Be sure to like and write a comment. If you have not seen the past parts of this manhwa, then there are links in the description. Enjoy your viewing. Day 2. I was sitting in front of the monitor and doing my usual thing. Played video games. Slept. Day 3. Bahamurk was sitting with a soda in his hand and did not understand what was happening. Yam Soon Guy does nothing. He only sleeps and rests. Unable to stand it, Bahamurk asked. Three days ago you were able to cope with the problem and even succeeded by forming an alliance, but now you're so idle that it's even surprising. Weren't you going to be the last survivor? He said as he watched me eat a recently ordered pizza. After chewing, I took out the key and calmly said. I understand. You want me to get out of here right now and start dealing with the rest of the creators. In fact, such a pastime also pisses me off. Then why are you doing this? The demon said almost angrily. I was as calm as a boa constrictor. First. Since this is a deadly game, the closer the second half, the less time there will be to rest and gather information. I said it with a serious face and raised my finger up, confirming that this is point one. Think for yourself. Having become the target of an experienced hunter, will I have the opportunity to sleep? Second. I stuck out my second finger. But then he grabbed another slice of pizza. Sooner or later, someone's patience will burst, and the someone will make a mistake. After all, there will always be fools who value victory in battle more than victory in war. We'll start hunting when they all lose patience. Bahamurk looked at me thoughtfully. Suddenly my phone vibrated and a call rang. She was my ally. I picked up the phone and heard an irritated voice. Three days have passed since the conclusion of the union. What have you been doing? I answered calmly. Nothing. This is such a strategy. You know. Here's someone like you who wants to break in and take out another opponent. And I have the sin of invasion. Ha. Huh. I don't know if I should say it. While you're resting there, something happened. Happened? Tell me. I'll copy the link and send it to your phone, as soon as you look, let's meet. In that case, I think we should act together. Then she hung up. I didn't understand what was going on a bit. A second later, a link came to me. Yuntub link? I thought and immediately clicked on it. I got on the channel of one of the streamers. And I started listening to what he was talking about. Guys. I recently started an interesting game, you know. No, no, home nerds, not online, but in real life. Something like a squid game. Participants wait, not knowing each other's identity, until someone takes the first step. It's so boring. Your ardent streamer, Gagak's older brother, is so furious about this, you would know. If this is a deadly game shouldn't we be constantly chasing each other? Setting traps, shouting? That's why I was the first to reveal myself. Provoke others so to speak. Do you want this key? With these words, he showed the key into the frame, seemingly ordinary, but all wrapped in bandages, just like a mummy. Or maybe you want to target other creators that will come after him. I invite you all to my house. The venue of the party and my home will be published in a pinned comment today at 12 a.m. Well, see you soon, people and then the video ended. Bahamurk and I were staring at the screen together. Well, how did Bahamurk see? Yes. Everything is as you expected. With these words, he handed me a can of soda. Now is the time to act naturally. At such an event, we will be able to find out more about other creators than you think. As a bonus, it would be good to reduce the number of participants. Free time is over. With these words, Bahamurk squeezed the soda can. An ordinary restaurant. People were walking back and forth, talking about nothing. I was sitting at a table and tried to blend in with the crowd. After a while, a girl came to my table. What a shy bastard. Specifically asked me to meet in a crowded cafe so that I wouldn't open my gates. I just grinned and waved my hand. However, I left the house to take care of you. Or do you want to activate the sin of invasion? Past. The girl sat down opposite me. What do you think to do with that bastard from the video ordinary people thought it was just a new concept or some kind of event? Being calm as usual, I replied. Judging by the large number of views, the probability that several creators watched the video is quite high. The girl waved her head in confirmation. Yes. I think a couple of people will definitely come. And what are you going to do? What's your plan? Meanwhile in my head. If I agree to this meeting too easily, she may think that I am overly confident in my sin and will begin to doubt. I need to pretend like I have no choice but to go. With these thoughts, I said. We have to go. I know my sin won't work if I change the location, but 
This is a rare opportunity to learn more about other creators. About their sins, personalities. At least about those who bought into the provocations. Hmm. In general, you are right. To begin with, let's wait for the comment with the address to appear. Let's check it out. Suddenly, all was calm, I even opened my mouth in surprise. Right behind the girl I saw my old friend. The detective was walking straight towards us. And beside him walked his mentor demon. The detective? What did this man forget here? Turning around, the girl said in surprise. What haha? Hello little ones. Gathered suddenly in the morning in such a place, and argue? We both panicked for a moment. The only one who was confident in himself was the detective. Noticing that we were drinking drinks, he immediately stretched out his hand to him and asked. Oh, can I take a sip? Meanwhile, my brain was creaking. Since when has a detective been following us? He appeared without even knowing our sins. Does this mean that the key activation condition is met? The detective slammed his glass loudly on the table and said. Ha, refreshing. And then he looked around at us and said. Don't move. Damn, he noticed. From the moment he came up, we both put our hands on our keys. The detective continued with a serious face. From now on, if you move without my permission, you will die. With that, he pulled back his jacket. There was an activated key on his inside pocket. At this time, the streamer was already preparing to meet the guests. He was sitting and looking at the phone. The creator of the unknown Gagak Hell. So, I wrote the address without errors. Attention everyone I publish my address. 145 Street, Seoul, Sodom and Gu, Yangjong Row 37 X Gil. Office till 1101 Room. It remains only to publish and consolidate. A gloomy demon who looked like a hangman and a scarecrow at the same time asked. There was a slight fear in his voice. Will everything really go the way you planned? It was the supreme demon Jinkajani. The streamer just grinned and started rolling around on a chair all over the room. Needless to say, this guy's room looked completely different from the boy's room. Of course. Ta damn. With these words, he pointed to his computer monitor. I have already prepared everything so that we can immediately seize the initiative. The monitor broadcast images from multiple cameras around the perimeter of the building. Besides, your ability is a scam. The demon just scratched his head in thought. The first large-scale event in a deadly game. Preparations for Gagaki's attack are complete. Me, my ally, and a detective. We were all sitting at the same table. The key that the detective showed is shining. This means that the condition of sin that he established has been achieved. But when did he have time? At what point? After starting the survival game, I tried not to commit a single, even a lot of sin. What kind of sin does he have? Wait a minute. Last time at the police station, the key did not react. So it's not activated now because of me. It's because of her. With these words, I looked at my companion. Damn. She has a face that makes it impossible to understand anything. Really? With these words, I started to get up and told my companion. Ho Min J. We leave the cafe. The detective looked in my direction and said. Didn't I tell you to sit still? The elders should be listened to. The detective visibly tensed. If you move, I'll send you straight to hell. Sit back down. But I decided to temper his anger. This is pure bluff. You blackmailed someone who committed your sin and forced him to come here. I said quite calmly, even with a bit of arrogance, looking down at the detective. Meanwhile in my head. What if neither my ally, nor I myself? What if none of us have sinned? What if the detective's words are pure bluff, and he brought someone here who fell for his bait? The puzzle is being put together. The detective's key was in his jacket, and we didn't see his condition when he first entered the cafe. In other words, the detective already knew that the key was activated. And a good reason for his confidence is hiding somewhere here. With these words, I looked. And immediately noticed a guy sitting behind us. His legs were shaking, it wasn't difficult. Bingo. I looked at his desk. Judging by the call of the order, he came not so long ago. I walked right up to him and put my hand on his shoulder. You. You came here because a detective threatened you, didn't you? Finally, my ally understood what was going on. The girl got up and screamed. So the key wasn't reacting to us turning around, I said. Well detective. What a pity. When you bluff, you need to do it more convincingly. The girl screamed even louder. Isn't this a scam suddenly, the guy I suspected approached the detective and whispered in his ear. I did everything you asked, didn't I you don't need my presence anymore? Then he took his things and left. I watched the detective's face. I needed to see his reaction. 
But he only chuckled a little. Laughing? And you grown up yam shin guy. Or at the police station I just went straight off the mat and didn't give you the opportunity to show your skills? Psycho. What is he even talking about? Since the scam didn't work, did you decide to play irrationally? The detective calmly continued. It was a test. Having said that, he put his hand on my shoulder and my companions. Because I don't want to form an alliance with idiots. Ha. Huh. Having already started to take my hand away, I added. First he threatened our lives, and now, since it didn't work, he decided to bluff? Detective this is already too much, you need to know the measure. To begin with, sit down kids. Because I have a suggestion. The three of us were sitting at the back table again. However, the atmosphere was a little friendlier. The detective was finishing my companion's drink. And while he was emptying her glass, she turned to me. Are you really going to listen to this scammer? We're busy, and the raid. I decided to be silent. You're probably wondering why I decided to sit down and listen, everything is simple. This guy is a detective. He can draw conclusions about the creators based on case data. In addition, it is possible to detain or persecute, forcibly using public authority. Roughly speaking, unlike the creators who use a single hell ability card. He starts playing with two at once. If such a person offers an alliance, it is worth listening to him. Also, taking into account the fact that there is a raid ahead, there will be absolutely a large number of people. If you tell us about your sin, we will accept the union's offer. I said. Twirling the glass of Saldom in my hand, the detective replied. My sin. It's going to be a little difficult. The girl who was my ally looked at him contemptuously. Ho. Oh, yes, you are definitely not yourself. How can people who do not know each other's sins become allies? What kind of reckless bravery? Suddenly he took the tubes out of the glass and pointed at us. In return, I can share good information. At some point, we tensed up. But he continued. The number of people you have sent to hell is probably unambiguous, right? With these words, he took out a notebook from under his jacket. I sent 117 people. After these words, our faces expressed obvious surprise. 117, dot, both of us asked almost instantly. And it was so loud that most of the people in the cafe paid attention to us. I even had to apologize. Flipping through the notebook, the detective spoke. Under what circumstances exactly does the key work or does not work? At what distance can be used? How many people will be able to send at the same time? I learned all this in practice. The more test subjects, the more data obtained. In general, I think I don't need to explain. That's understandable enough. So, I will share this data with you. In return, in today's raid, take my side. We talked for a while. But I left with the detective's notebook. The detective was left sitting alone at the table. As soon as we left, his demon appeared. You said not to show up, so you quietly watched and waited. Hasn't too much been told to make an alliance, detective? You've done a lot of work to collect this data. But the detective didn't stop smiling. Ha ha. Don't worry Gargamonga. In the notebook that they took away slightly modified important numerical data. At a critical moment, if they turn against me. I can safely open my mouth and swallow them. That evening, we were sitting on a playground not far from my house. I was watching the time on my phone. There are 3 hours and 22 minutes left before Gagaka puts out his address. But before that, it would be worth pumping teamwork. Hey, I'm curious about something. With these words, he turned to the girl. She answered immediately. Speak. Your tracking ability, can't you use it now? If we can find out Kagaki's location first, we can set up camp nearby before the others who join the raid later. She got up from the swing. So you don't know the mechanism of my ability at all? With these words, she took a wand and began to draw something on the ground. My ability is the separation of vision from the nearest goal I am pursuing. To put it simply, among all the creators of hells, I can only determine the position of the one closest to me. Meanwhile I thought to myself. It turns out I was tracked down only because I was the closest. And now she can't use the ability, as it will be useless while I'm around. What about the reboot time? Once every 12 hours. 5 minutes. I thought I heard it. Once every 12 hours, yes. So she knows that I don't leave the house. In general, there is a possibility that she used her abilities once every 12 hours, moving from place to place. And maybe she hasn't come into direct contact with anyone yet. And after the situation with me, I think she became more careful. Then. Putting my hand on her shoulder, I asked. 
How many other people have you managed to track down after all, you didn't tell me about it. The tension was clearly visible on the girl's face. Damn. This jerk is too smart. I didn't want to talk about it so that I would have the advantage in information. But. He took care of me then. That situation I couldn't do anything. We need to return this debt. Who? She exhaled loudly. I managed to see two more. One was checked in upon arrival at the airport. The other was in the meeting room of a large QS company. That is, one of them is a foreigner, the second is from the management of a large company. Unfortunately, none of them looked in the mirror, so I didn't see their faces. I thought for a moment, and then we'll see how she blushes and says. I just. I just didn't tell you because I didn't have confidence in you. It was not with the intention of destroying the union. So don't get me wrong. Thanks. Then in order to gain more trust, I will tell you about my partner's ability. Bahamurk's ability to smell death. She lets me know when I'm wearing a dead flag. This is a pretty useful ability that can even predict the future if used correctly. Putting her hand to her chin, she said. Not bad. It expands your possibilities of improvisation. And now we have to some extent sorted out the issues. And there are about three hours left before the raid. Then let's split up and rest. We'll meet next to the addresses when he publishes it. I'll take a picture of the notebook that the detective gave me and send it to you. Get acquainted before you start. I held out my fist to my ally and confidently said. Let's survive. You don't want to give an easy death to those who are locked up in your hell either. After my words, the girl thought. In my hell. Memories came flooding back to her. She's lying in her boyfriend's room, wrapped in a blanket. And he adjusts the camera on the phone. Why the camera? It's cool. Exciting. Just for the collection no more. I really don't like this. But the guy didn't back down. Just once. You won't be able to do it even if I ask. The next day, Ho Min Jae was walking at school as usual. But suddenly she was called. Oh, that's the one. Hey it was fun to watch. Her face just went numb. Hey, why are you telling me? Added a second one. I'd rather think about Yung Jiayu. Then she came to her school locker. On which there were various kinds of inscriptions. Dirty whore. Die, you beast. Suffer. Leave. And then she remembered how this jerk begged her to spare him. Clasping his hands, he begged for mercy on his knees. Have mercy. I'm really sorry. He said this while looking at the girl who opened the gate. But she only answered. Late. This video has already spread everywhere. Our relationship broke up because of you. After that, this idiot was thrown into hell. And the girl returned to reality. Right. I can't let him die easily. He's bound to rot in my hell forever. Then she hit my fist with her own. And added. Go eat well for now, rest, gain strength. Hikikomori. Flipping through the notebook given to me by the detective, I found a lot of interesting things. In addition to interesting data, the most important thing was circled with a marker. When suddenly, the floor began to float, the figure of a Bahamurk appeared from it. He said with displeasure, almost with malice. Human. Can I stop hiding in the floor already? All my muscles and bones ache. Stop whining and get up Bahamurk. Other creators can see demons. So if I keep dragging you along, they will be able to see and understand that I am also one of them. We need to be patient for our safety. As for the manifestation of yourself. Let's do it only in a house where it's safe. I said all this while reading a notebook. But the demon was only discontentedly picky. Stretching, he said. You keep repeating about caution, but don't you trust Sadius's partner too much? He even told me about my abilities. In principle, it does not matter. After all, I lied about the most important thing. His sin. Besides, I need her for this raid. To make this battle more honest. My calculation turned out to be correct. Because another alliance was created just before the raid began. In the dark street stood the demon ram, already familiar to us, as well as two more higher demons. The supreme demoness is a vampire, and the supreme demon is Gordon Kilius. The first one looked like a vampire, and the second one looked like an ogre. However, the form of this union was different from the union of Yem Soon Gai, in which the members of the union were on an equal footing. A familiar man in a white suit was sitting on a bench and flipping through a tablet, and two people were kneeling in front of him. The man in the white suit was Yu Noong Han, the creator of the unknown hell. There was a strict hierarchy in his union. The two people sitting in front of him were none other than the other creators of hell. A guy in a white suit watched a video where a streamer already known to us announced the game. Two on a leash like dogs, and one holding them. 
Then the person looked at the pinned comment with the address. Finally he wrote down his address. It's time for us to move out. Hey pig. So he turned to the fat guy sitting on his knees in front of him. You said you have rights. So you're driving the car. With these words, he threw him the car keys. And you're a baby. You go first, do at least a warm up. With these words, the man stood up and began to adjust his gloves. The girl did not expect such a turn. Bait. She almost shouted. Why me? Then the man in white held the key to hell right in front of her face. I mean, why? Because you're dumb as a cork and your life is in my hands right now. Remember, you are my pawns. The man said with a grin. If you want to live at least one more day, do as I say. Stupid bastards. Suddenly the fat guy asked. But once we're done with this, will you really let us go? But the man just grinned. I'll let you go when you get smarter. So don't worry about it. After some time, they were already driving in the car to the designated address. The current number of participants is seven people. Meanwhile, my allies and I met. The attack on Gagaka begins. We met in a dark alley. And the detective asked the first question. Well, have you read the notes that I gave you? I started first. Summarizing the main points of the notes. It is possible to send five people to hell at the same time. A larger number at a time will not work. After the gate opens, there is a delay of one minute. It is impossible to open them at this time. The maximum range at which the gate can suck a sinner is 10 meters. If you make a mistake by looking with the naked eye, this person does not go to hell. Is that right? Suddenly my partner interrupted me. You forgot something. Even if a person commits a sin, but the owner of the key does not recognize him as a sinner, he does not go to hell. In other words, the door is activated correctly only if two conditions are met. The target has committed a sin, and the owner of the key recognizes him as a sinner. The detective's face broke into a smile. Ha! Well learned everything. So let's move on to our goals now. First. Visual confirmation of the identity of the creators of hell. The second. Ask for and notice hints to understand what the sins of others are. The third. To survive. Do not get hung up on reducing the number of participants. Suddenly the girl asked. Do we really not need to think about reducing the number? To which the detective immediately replied. The rules did not mention any reward for reducing the number of participants. That is, there is no need to take risks. However. If someone puts something on the line, let's just take it and eat it. After these words, the detective gave us on the radio. And these are my gifts for you. Let us know if there is something unusual or if you meet a person who you think is the creator of hell. Meanwhile, a car drove up to Gagaki's house. And a familiar person was already watching his apartment through binoculars. His companions were nervous. Are we really going to get there first? To begin with, as soon as we enter the building, we don't even know where an attack may come from. Wouldn't it be better to just wait for others to come and target the streamer first? The girl confirmed the guy's words. Right. I also asked earlier why we should be the first to enter. To which the boss of these two clicked his tongue irritably. We need to get rid of as many creators here as possible. Do you know that I've already sent one to hell? Sure. After all, they showed on the tablet what is happening inside hell. After which, the man in white raised his finger and said. I only found out about it after this old man was already there. Sending the creator to hell gives you an extra ability. The two people sitting opposite him were surprised. If this is true, it will be very useful to gain more additional skills first. Because the more any means the better for the game. I still hope to survive, the girl thought. At the same time, the guy was thinking. Great, if I catch at least one and get an additional ability, then I can escape from him, or at least we can become equal allies. And maybe I can even hope for a better future. Meanwhile, their boss was sitting behind a tablet and smiling. Those bastards. How easily they believed. It's like a fictitious carrot that facilitates submission. What idiots. If there was such an award, we would definitely have been told about it. His idea was simple. There is no need to get rid of this couple with your own hands. After all, when he defeated the first opponent, he asked his demon. Hey Ram. Isn't there any bonus for defeating one? Besides, among the others, it looks like I'm the first one who sent someone from the creators to hell. The demon continued to wipe his sweat and replied. There don't seem to be any additional rules of this kind. Well. So there's no need to kill them with your own hands. We need to rethink the strategy. Then I'll leave it to someone else to deal with these two and thus I will get information about the hell of another person. 
After all, when he sends them to hell, he will certainly say his sin. Then based on the information, I will find this person's weakness and make him my next slave. I will continue this process until I and the last slave remain. And by killing him, I will become the ultimate winner. At that moment, he remembered that he was in the car with his slaves. Damn, you need to save face. Save face. Until I sent these two. So, this will make you more useful allies. Having said that, the boss took out the camera and handed it to them. If you understand everything, take the camera and go. Meanwhile, in the streamer's room. Gagaka was sitting in front of the monitor and watches all the entrances and exits. Suddenly, unbeknownst to him, a rope appeared outside the window. And a second later, the girl had already climbed into his room by opening the window. From such a gag act came to perplexity. What did you think they would come to you and ring the doorbell? I moved here from another apartment with the help of a fire rope idiot. Then she took out a key that was already activated. The demon is standing behind her exclaimed. Human. The keys are activated finish with it. Hooray. If I can get an extra ability with this, then I can get rid of this jerk. Then she said loudly. Open the hell of vanity. Suddenly a red light filled the room, and bats appeared out of nowhere. You were intoxicated with your abilities and told your address to the others yourself. Accept your sentence, lad. Then she turned the key, and a huge bat appeared from the ceiling, its belly opened like a gate. And from these gates, bone hands climbed straight towards Gagaki. It seemed he was already captured however. As soon as the hands reached him and grabbed him, something happened. And they hurriedly let him go. The girl and the demoness were perplexed. What the hell? And then they looked at the key, which had already stopped glowing. What? It's just been activated. Why? Suddenly Gagaka said, grinning. You made a mistake with the object. Then he began to remove the skin from his face. And the girl stood wide-eyed. Right in front of her, the guy pulled off his face, and she saw a demon in front of her. Have a good road he said. And while the girl was staring at the demon. The real Gagaka appeared from the closet, he opened the door a crack and pointed at them with an already activated key. Invasion hell is activated. A moment later, a noose was already thrown on the girl's head. The gate that Gagaka opened threw several ropes in her direction and began to pull her towards him. The demoness stretched out her hand to her ward in the hope of saving her, but she was already doomed. On the threshold of death, memories came flooding back to the girl. I hated vanity. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. She used to dance until she broke a sweat. In between them, she looked at the idols on the phone and thought. How much more do I need to work as a simple intern to achieve them? But one day a producer came and said. So everyone's attention. He was standing holding a girl with blonde hair by the shoulder. It was decided that Julia would make her debut this time. I was shocked by what I heard. What? It seemed there was no stopping me. Wait. Why is Julia the first to make her debut? After all, we interned together. The producer just made a disgruntled face and said. This is a decision from above. Nothing can be done. Can you just congratulate her without any showdown? Why start this? I was standing right in front of him, as if I had been doused with cold water. The next thing I remember, I was crying on the steps. But suddenly the same girl came up to me and handed me a handkerchief. Are you okay? I looked at the girl smiling at me. Still smiling, she said. You know, you were good at the audition. Or not. You've been interning for seven years. Maybe you just don't have the talent. I fell into a stupor, but she wouldn't shut up. Bypassing me, leaving she said. Do something else. And you're a little old for that already. Suddenly she turned around and laughed with her hand to her mouth. It might even be awkward to call you an idol. For as long as I can remember, those who had luck, talent or connections, made their debuts. But this thing. I slept with the president, so I made my debut. That night a demon came to me. Those who think that this is their own ability, and are vain of others. Must burn in hell. But it didn't work out with that person. I was desperately trying to turn the key and send him to hell. But nothing worked. How is it? Why is the key not responding? And then he leaned right over to me and said. A hell of vanity? Yes? So now you think that I treat you vaingloriously? I just dropped it. President of a huge corporation. Elite. You can't help but be vain. His laughter even made his saliva fly out. Ha ha ha. Vanity is a feeling only for those stupid people who do not know how to independently determine who they are and what they are capable of. Wiping away tears of laughter, he said. And I have only reasonable confidence. 
I mean, I'm not vain. I thought I could survive even after I got into the use of this guy. Isn't that vanity? These were her last thoughts. The creator of Vanity Hell, An Yoon Haya, dropped out. The doors slammed shut with a creak, swallowing the girl. Looking at the creature sitting on the floor in complete helplessness, it was impossible to say that it was the highest demoness. Damn. After these words, her body evaporated, emitting a bright purple light. Pleased with the success of his operation, Gagaka rejoiced. I thought it was just a theory, but she really got caught. His demon seemed pleased too. Hahaha. Ha, ha. Among other demons, my ability is nothing more than entertainment. It was your head that thought of using it like that. He said pointing at the streamer. And then he pulled the Gagaki mask back on his head and said. We continue to send everyone to hell. After giving five to their man, they set the nets again. Meanwhile, our trio couldn't help but notice the bright light from Gagaki's room. I took out my walkie-talkie and reported. A flash of light just came from the window. Have you seen everything? My ally spoke first. She took up a position on the roof and watched. Yes. Most likely it was Hell's doors. That means at least minus one. I began to reason in my head. According to the detective's notes, there is a waiting time for the gate to reopen. That is, if someone in the building tries to open the gate again, he will not succeed in the next minute. Should I come in? A drop of sweat formed on my face. Will I be able to conduct a reconnaissance in one minute and get out safely? This question tormented me. But suddenly someone grabbed me by the shoulder. Scared to death, I turned around abruptly and saw the familiar face of the detective. He said calmly. The probability of getting out in one minute with something decent is almost zero, kid. He's probably right. Then what should we do? Let me, the detective, know about it. Passing by, I saw a flash of light and heard a screaming woman inside the building. In the current situation it is. But I didn't finish because I understood the detective's plan. He's trying to break into Gagaki's house. Being the detective who received the message. Whoever survived the opening of the gate wouldn't be able to send the detective to hell so easily. After all, if one of the employees disappears, then other police officers will descend and arrest him as a suspect. After thinking it all over, I asked. Okay, then what should I and Ho Min Jae do? Don't let other creators go inside. Leaving, the detective said. And then I'll figure it out myself. When he left, I thought about it. The detective, as I thought, is not capable of anything, but he can make decisions faster than me in such situations. The reason why the operation was originally conceived as passive. We were waiting for someone to join the battle before us and give us the opportunity to intervene. Damn. I bit my finger between my teeth. We need to send the others to hell faster than they will do it to me. Meanwhile, in the car of the director of the corporation. One of the cameras on the tablet failed. But he just grinned. Minus one chess piece. However, I found out what a sin this little streamer has. So nothing else matters. Throwing the tablet on the chair, he said. It's time for me to make my move. Seventh floor. Ding. The detective took the elevator and Gugaki's camera immediately spotted him. Ha. Huh. A new victim? Two streamers of exactly the same appearance sat and watched the camera. It doesn't seem to be a tenant. The detective was approaching the apartment. Ha <laughs> ha. The door is open, so he will come in. Play along with me. Gagaka reached into the closet, taking his position. And don't stutter. After these words, the closet door closed. And then there was a knock on the door. But then a phrase was uttered that they did not expect to hear. This is the Sodom and District Police. A complaint has been received against you. Gagaka, sitting in the closet, thought. Complaint? And, probably because of the screams and the light. How annoying. If I send this policeman to hell who came because of a complaint, I can catch us and send us to prison. And if I open up to him, we can stall for time until more creators of hell gather. Damn it. You'll have to open it. Going to the intercom, he pressed the microphone button. What was announced? The detective, showing his ID to the camera, calmly said. Oh, nothing serious. A report was received that women's screams were heard from a neighboring house. Could we talk for a bit? Meanwhile, I was standing guard at the entrance. The detective's phrase stuck in my head. Don't let the other creators of hell in. Easy to say. But in truth, if they can still get there before Gagaka is caught. I will have to stop them at any cost. Thinking about it, I picked up the walkie-talkie and asked. Ho Min Jae, where are you? On the roof of the opposite building, why? It seems the detective went into the building, is that good? Nothing happened? He came in to pick up Gagaka. 
until then, we must carefully monitor the entrance and prevent other creators from entering. The girl grinned. Ha. Huh. You say to be more careful. Good. What should I do? When I heard this question, I said into the radio. You didn't use the tracking ability today, did you? Right? She replied. I've been with you all day, so there was no need to use it. Now use it. There was a slight pause, it seemed I struck her with this request. What? But then I'll see the same as you being on the other side. What's the point? After these words, she looked in my direction. I have one hypothesis.